So today we are live in the Fifth Avenue Club with Ashley Stark, Creative Director of Stark Carpet. We are so excited to have Ashley back with us and especially at Saks. How much fun have we been having trying on great fall clothes. Thank you for being here. Of course. So Ashley, we are expanding stylist to a T into home to a T, so I'm so excited you're here today. Um, you are working on an amazing personal project, yes. your brand new home in the city, and I would love to, for you to share with all of our followers just some tips on starting fresh, what are, you know, what's the key ingredient to redoing a room or designing a brand new house and room? Like, what are the first steps that you always go to when you're either designing yourself or designing with clients? Um, you know, redoing a room or starting fresh. What do you, what's your go-to? So that was a lot in one question. I know, it was a lot. <laughs> but um, my go-to is always start with inspiration. Okay. Go on something like Pinterest, pull from magazines, and get a sense of the feeling. Are you going modern? Are you going traditional? Are you going transitional? Do you want to mix Scandinavian? So that's a clear place to start. And then sort of a color palette of what you want throughout the house. Mm -hmm. And then I like to start obviously with the rugs because I think it's much harder to find a rug than it is to find fabrics. Right. And that could be like your big anchor piece. So you find a fabulous rug and then you can go around to the fabric showrooms and pick different swatches and throw them on the rug and see what works and what doesn't. And then you know, find the couch and you find the big fabric to go on that, um, and then the wallpaper to pull it together, and then after that, then I would go for like lighting, smaller pieces like the coffee table and the chairs and the accessories, but start with the biggest pieces. Right, which is typically your rug. And are you feeling more today, are you seeing more bold colors, more neutral colors? What's kind of been trending in you know, the whole interior? You know, it's such a rug? mix. I feel like color has really made a comeback. You know, people are using a lot of like emerald green and maybe blues and so blush pinks, but the grays and the neutrals are really people, that's what they want in their home. And I feel like it's really easy to live with. Mm -hmm. So I still, still see that as much as I see color. And you know what, for me, I always, my advice is always decorate like on the more neutral side and you can always add the pop of the pillow and the throw and then when you're over emerald green you can take the pillows out and the throw and put in like more neutral or whatever color you're feeling at that moment. Right. And it's an easy and expensive way to like switch up the room and not have a green sofa that you're committed to Absolutely. for a really long time. Yeah. Such a key way. And you know, I feel like in fashion, obviously, we're seeing like so many colors come and go, but we were just talking about how we both love neutrals yeah. and, you know, love wearing our blacks, whites, and creams. And it's, it's very similar in interiors. Yeah. Yes. You know, you kind of see that same trend going on in the home, too. Now, being a mom of two, you know, we just had a baby, obviously, and we did her room in white, which probably wasn't the smartest thing. Um, but what would you, you know, what would you suggest for new moms, you know, having rooms or not new no moms, if they're redoing their house, just what color palette would you suggest for kids' rooms? So I'm not into the very kid decor. So my okay. daughter's room is also like white and blush pink. And um, I think you really want a room that they can grow with. Like a nursery is so cute, but they're a baby for like a year, and right. then they're a toddler, and then they're a big kid, and they don't want you know the baby things in the room. So I think you sh people should really think about long term how they're going to decorate. And you know, from a, from like a little boy, you might get sick of baby blue, mm -hmm. and like when he's two and a rough and tumble toddler, so you might want to <laughs> you know do accents of navy or gray just to make it um, not so babyish. That would be my biggest advice. And like bookshelves everywhere because you have no idea how many books you end up Oh my with. gosh, there's so many books. <laughs> toys, Do you suggest yeah. books, bookshelves like for reachable or more like up on the wall? I have both okay. because you can't, I mean, I like the kind that you, the picture shelves so you can see the books right. and grab them themselves, but you can't put everything there and yeah. it's so messy. So I have that and then I have like a big bookshelf for both my kids and that it's so helpful. And mm -hmm. They still, my daughter like to push a chair up and climb up and pick what she wants. Right. Now, obviously, having the two kids, they don't just stay in their room. So, what kind of <laughs> furniture, what kind of pieces have you been gravitating towards, you know, for your home, your new home, like that you think, like, you know, are very chic and trendy, but also are durable for kids? Right. So, mm -hmm. I, I'm just not a big believer in decorating for kids. I mean, my kids have learned how to live without baby proofing, and I mean, obviously the chemicals, but no corners or any of that. Right. 
Um, I just want to use such delicate fabrics, but other than that, the upholstery is the same. Right. And, you know, you wouldn't want to do something with very sharp edges, but other than that, I feel like the kids, they really learn. And, you know, maybe, maybe you make your living room like a little bit more formal and a little bit nicer, and then the rest of the house, they should be able to navigate. Absolutely. You no just problems. have to teach them at a young age, exactly. right? <laughs> what is off right. limits? Yeah. Don't uh, touch the accessories. <laughs> exactly. Now, as we are into fall and almost winter, are there any things that you do in your home to kind of change the mood? Um, like, do you change your different throws or anything, like, depending on the different seasons in your in your home? Yeah, I definitely do. We put out a lot of the chunky knit throws everywhere, mm -hmm. and um, some of the pillows we change, and, like, I like to throw, like, the Flocati fur rugs down on top. So or, cozy. Like, and layer on top, <laughs> yeah. Definitely gives it, like, a, a feeling of warmth. Right. Now we were just talking about Ashley's style and you know running around with the city in the city with her two kids and just what have been your go-to's especially in the fall you're saying some great boots um, you know she does work full-time and she's a mom full-time so she's a lot going on um, but your go-to's are really great boots comfy sweaters what else a nice so blazer loving. to throw on yeah so that you feel like you put together with like a t-shirt and jeans exactly um, I, I, you know, I, I wear dresses all the time too, just with a pair of comfy boots or a pair of lower heels. And then if I'm going anywhere, I guess the office, I can put on higher heels. But I'm, I'm usually running around the city, so I need to be comfortable and look good at the same time. Comfort is key. Yeah. And a great leather jacket. Exactly, right? right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being here. We're so excited for you guys to see how we styled Ashley at the Fifth Avenue Club in some great fall pieces for her wardrobe. And be sure to follow Ashley along as you'll want to see her amazing inspo designs as well on Instagram.